We have got to build homes and protect tenants. We've got to do both of those things, and I think we can, should, and must do both of those things. We are in a crisis, and we know this. You know, from my district in particular, you know, we've had a 40% increase in homelessness in the last two years. And I think that's reflective in, in other folks' district in, in the Bay Area and LA and other counties. We see the racial inequities on this. Those are predominantly people of color. They're being displaced out of their communities. You know, we have these massive commutes. You know, I have teachers and nurses who are living in Stockton and Tracy commuting because they can't afford to live in the communities in which they're working. I spent years applying for subsidized housing. Um, and now I'm fortunate I have a decent home for my son and myself where I pay $960 a month. That's over half of my income. As a mother, it's my job to provide a safe, stable, and secure, secure home for my son to grow up in. Every worker in California should not have to worry about their rent being raised or being evicted based on landlord's whims. All I've asked for is hot water, working plumbing, heat, some quiet time, and that it be safely maintained. I have rheumatoid arthritis, I'm disabled, I require heat to live. I never imagined I'd be paying 74% of my income to go without the barest of necessities. It makes me feel beat down, and sometimes it makes me feel worthless. It's a multifaceted problem with a lot of different potential solutions, and I don't think there's going to be one thing that fixes the whole crisis. So there's a suite of things. There's my specific bill as well that will hopefully be um, the underlying foundation of data that we need to collect on this. We don't really know how many evictions happen across the state. We don't know really how much um, increasing rent is, is happening in our community. So I think having that data is going to be very critical so we can understand where are these issues happening, what are the trends we're seeing, and then how do we then create public policy to address that. We we deserve to be treated at the very least like our lives mean more than dollars and cents to those involved. What Gavin Newsom said in his State of the State is bring me a package of rental protections. Well we are going to bring him a package. That is our goal uh, that he can sign on to so that we can protect the renters that, that we care about deeply in our community.